One of the unique features we've created for our Car Paint Designer plugin is the Procedural Stripes Designer. A first of its kind tool set that allows you to procedurally design and apply stripes to any model without ever having to UV unwrap the model. Today, I'm going to show you how to use these features so you can design your own procedural stripes in just seconds. First, we'll grab our Car Paint Designer configurator from the Content Browser. The procedural stripes feature is only available in the standard and pro options, so we'll be using the standard bundle for this video. You can see that there's already a preset option for the stripes feature, but I'll be showing you how to use these features from scratch, so we're going to stick with a default preset today. Once we have our material applied, head over to the paint color menu in the configurator. We'll use this gradient setting for creating the stripes. We can simply do this by essentially bringing the gradient color tags closer together, until they're nearly touching. However, you'll see that this is not creating any stripe patterns yet. That's where this gradient projection type setting comes in. To make it so it shows as stripes, change the type from dynamic to static. This will take our existing color gradient and project it onto the surface of our car in a static fashion, rather than have the gradient always change depending on our camera's perspective. For this next step, I'll be using the included presets to better show off the other scale, position, and rotation settings. You can see that when we drag in the preset, the preset can be a little too big by default. We can easily scale it back using the static gradient scale setting. If our stripes are also off-centered or misaligned, we can readjust them by using the translate and rotate settings below. You can drag the slider for larger translation movements, but if you're only off-center by a tiny bit, it's recommended to click and drag the arrows next to the value to get finer control. As you can see, it's pretty easy and straightforward to apply, design, and customize stripes procedurally with this plugin. These presets were also made to be able to be swapped out with other presets, while still retaining the desired settings, so that you would only have to make minor adjustments, if any at all. This plugin comes with dozens of stripes preset templates, including some flags, such as certain countries, and pride flags. Here we also have an example on how you can use this feature to create not only just stripes, but gradient fades as well, by spreading apart the gradient control tags so they aren't so close together. You can create some interesting effects with this method, as seen with these examples. Something important to keep in mind, is that while this method works fine for a still image, and if you don't move the car, it does not immediately work if you move the car for something like an animation, or even repositioning it, as you can see here. But don't worry, this is an incredibly easy fix. All you need to do, is navigate to your paint configurator object, expand the drop-down so you can see the children, and simply drag the camera object as a child of your car model. This will now keep your stripes or fade locked to your car model, no matter how you move it now. Alternatively, you can even just drag the whole paint configurator object as a child of your car, like we did the camera. However this can make accessing the configurator a bit trickier, so it's up to you. One final thing to mention, because these stripes are using the same input as the normal color settings, you can even use the full color correction settings, to get even more design control out of them. Thanks for watching, and hopefully this tutorial helped walk you through the necessary steps for creating and designing your own stripes. If you need any help with something I might not have covered, or just in general, please feel free to leave a comment below.